Jake Paul just attacked Mike Tyson in a brutal brawl that broke out between these two fighters as they ran into each other in public. Jake Paul threw a banging left hook that caught Mike Tyson, and let's just say a blow like that at the age of 60 is not something you want to tick off your bucket list. And the man to blame for Mike's suffering is Joe Rogan. Yep, you heard that right. Joe Rogan's salty comments towards Jake are what encouraged him to take a literal shot at the heavyweight legend. That guy will hurt you. If Jake Paul's on the other side of the ring and he sees Mike Tyson just fucking bother you, he's gonna look over and go, oh my god, that's yeah. really Mike Tyson. Mike. That guy can still f you up. He don't wanna fight Mike. I don't give a f if you think he's 55 hey, years old. No wonder why Jake Paul went all ballistic. But this is not the end of it. This is just a little fire to get Jake going, but what Joe Rogan said next was enough for Jake to let his hands go. And poor Mike Tyson got the worst of it. Jake's beef with Joe Rogan has become a hot topic in the fight industry, and it is one that has left everyone stunned. Because Jake and Joe Rogan used to be on cool terms. I mean, Joe Rogan really came a long way from praising Paul's ability as a fighter to making fun of him and taking such personal digs at him most people wouldn't dare to. If Tyron Woodley decided to just go into boxing, mm -hmm. people would be very excited just about watching one of the great UFC welterweights of all time, one of the greatest champions of all time. Yeah. To watch him go and box would be interesting. And if you saw a guy who was an up-and-coming prospect who Tyron Woodley boxed and flatlined him with one punch, you would go, holy shit. That was a real punch, This guy's though. a bad motherfucker. So that's what's interesting. Uh, you don't this think it is was, Anderson Wait, you versus Julio you, you, you don't think it was a real punch, Mike? Huh? Yeah, it was a real punch. Oh, the one he knocked out Tyron Woodley? That was yeah, a very real yeah. punch. But the point is, if he was just a regular contender oh, no and he did that to Tyron Woodley, everybody would be Everyone freaking would be out. Freaking out and yeah. go, this kid is something special. No fact. Now, it makes sense why Paul was all riled up but it does not allow him to do what he did to Mike. If you want to fight, wait till you're in the ring. But hey, Jake has never been one for sportsmanship, and all he did was make Mike Tyson even more furious. So if you've seen Mike Tyson in action back in the day, you'd know Paul is going to be facing his worst nightmare this November 15th. Yes, November, not this summer, as this fight got postponed because of Mike's unexpected medical injury. But hey, this hasn't stopped this Paul brother from getting action this July. If you thought the public brawl with Mike was the most you'll see from Paul this summer, well then you couldn't be more wrong. Jake already has a new opponent lined up for July 20th. And let's just say Joe Rogan's comments about Jake's new opponent definitely got under Paul's skin. Yeah, the news is true, folks. I, Jake Paul, will be fighting Mike Perry, Tampa, Florida, July 20th. Now, Jake Paul versus Mike Perry is set to take place this summer, and let me tell you, this is a much more interesting fight compared to Mike Tyson. Say what you want about Tyson, yes, he's a legend in the game, but the guy is pushing 60, and this is something that should be taken into account. Mike Perry will bring in the heat. He's no 40-year-old retired MMA guy. Mike Perry is the real deal. He's the face of bare-knuckle fighting. Now, that says a lot about the guy. Not to mention he's been wanting to put Paul to sleep for a while now, so the bad blood is there. Jake might have the size and skills, but Perry's bare-knuckle experience could make this fight brutal enough to give him the edge over Paul. Mike wouldn't fight next. Hopefully it's uh, Jake Paul. I want to see you smash his ass. Uh, I believe in you, man. Just put in the work. If I fight that guy, bro, I'm going to hurt that little Disney boy if he fights me. This is going to be a real test for Jake, because he's always fighting these old and retired guys, and then proceed to call out fighters like Canelo Alvarez. Yep, that happened. And our guy Joe Rogan had a good laugh about it. Jake Paul called out Canelo Alvarez as well. That's hilarious. That's yeah. a death sentence. Yeah. Yeah. But also, Jake Paul's 200 pounds. Canelo Alvarez really should have never fought at 175 pounds. I mean, you can't blame Joe for this, can you? Jake Paul vs. Canelo Alvarez is not something that we should even be talking about. It's like throwing a rabbit into a cage with a lion. But hey, all these shots from Joe Rogan rub Jake the wrong way. Now, it really makes you wonder what will happen to Mike and Joe's friendship after this intense face-off with Jake and Tyson. Joe and Mike were the best of friends until Paul landed a Hail Mary punch on Tyson's chin, changing everything. And who does everyone point fingers at? None other than Joe Rogan. It was Joe's salty comments that led to this mess. 
And guess what? His salty comments don't end here. The problem child is now a problem for Platinum Perry to handle. But hey, Joe made his stance clear when he picked his favorite to win. Yo, how many people are counting out Mike Perry? Isn't that interesting? I'm not counting Bro, him. it's wild to me. And then in all the comments, like, oh, dude, you must think it's bare knuckle. This is box. And I'm like, oh, you don't know what a fucking dog Mike Perry is. Yeah, he's a pit bull. You need to do your goddamn research. Mike There's Perry, no quit. He's a game bred pit bull. He's going to get in your pitbull. fucking face for all eight of those rounds. And he was like, oh, this is a gimmick fight. I'm like, you're a moron. But you're in the Mike Tyson fight? Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, Mike Perry's dangerous. That's a super, the most super dangerous, dangerous fight. When is the Mike Tyson fight? It's December. supposed to be in November. Supposed to be. But that is... <clears throat> who knows if it's ever going to happen. I mean, Mike has ulcers. He does. He's a 58-year-old man old with old man ulcers. thing ever to get yeah. out of the fight. Oh, Mike. That's Mike like Tyson. a CEO problem. Yeah. yeah. He got on a plane. Yeah, Mike Perry's fighting in July. It's July 20th. Yeah. Yep. The in Mike Tyson Tampa. fight is in uh, November. In Tampa, Florida, which is like Mike, that's Mike Perry's, like, that's his source. Yeah, now that's got a sting. But most pros are backing Mike Perry to win this fight. So if somehow Jake wipes the floor with Platinum Perry, it's going to silence all the critics saying Paul is just a troll and not a real fighter. It's going to be a good fight, that's for sure. I mean, Jake already got his hands dirty with the other Mike and sent him straight to the hospital. But hey, that was in public. And Tyson got caught off guard. Perhaps Mike Perry can avenge the heavyweight legend. We've been friends. He's never been cool with me. He wanted to beat me up, and he's a sneaky little snake. And I'm going to fucking knock the teeth out of his mouth. Fuck him. Fuck you, Jake. I'll beat your ass, bitch. July 20th. Come and see it. Emily Arena, Tampa, Florida. Days in pay-per-view. Mike Perry's going to beat the shit out of Jake Paul. What now, bitch? I'm here. This is my chance. This is my opportunity. I've been doing this. You walked in and you skipped the line and you skipped your experience and now it's my turn. Mike, did you feel pressure to represent? But one thing you can't miss is that Perry and Joe have a good relationship, which makes this drama even more interesting. It's a 2v1 and at one side of the battlefield you got Perry and Joe and on the other you got the problem child Jake Paul. I got a question for you, Mike. When Joe hits you up to do a show, you know, or, or you get that invite, is there any preparation or anything? So when he reached out after the fight, he was kind of congratulating me on the fight. And I was just like, man, hey, you know, it's not all the time that Joe Rogan's reaching out in my DM. So I was like, hey, man, I heard you're not supposed to ask, but, you know, I'm in a good position in, in my career and life right now. So I think this is the best shot I got to ask you if I could do the podcast. I think it can help me out a lot right now and i know joe's always been cool with me he's talked with me before i've met him a couple times i'm just kind of gonna go with the flow though that's what i do that's my thing man i just live my life and go with it if that wasn't enough check out this footage of joe rogan praising mike perry like he's the muhammad ali of our generation bare knuckle is way better than traditional boxing that's where mike perry shines fucked up luke rockhold in his last fight made him quit knocked his teeth out dude he's fucking everybody up because he's such an animal like if you're tough and there's not a tougher human being alive than mike oh. perry and he's good man he knows how to fight bare knuckle he's clever a lot of people that go over to bare knuckle are surprised how little protection you have and how much it hurts and mike perry has developed a style where he holds his hands like real rigid like this. So if you're Luke Rockhold and you're fighting Mike Perry, this is your first bare knuckle fight, you never fought bare knuckle because you certainly aren't training bare knuckle. It's a different experience. Obviously, Paul is not one to stay quiet while the other side is taking all the shots. Oh no, Jake Paul fired back with smoke. There's a reason why he's one of the best trash talkers in the scene and it shows. He's basically said, if I wasn't a YouTube kid and I was just a young boxing prospect beating all of these people, Everyone would be like, what the fuck? This kid can punch. Like, he can knock people out. This is going to be a world champion. But for some reason, they just say, oh, it's fake. Fights are rigged. Mm -hmm. This is bullshit. And I even see people say, oh, Jake is paying Joe Rogan to say this. <laughs> and, like, to me, like, it's it, it, it just gone. There was a slippery slope of, like, disbelief and people just discrediting everything mm -hmm. that— I have worked for in this sport, um, and and the slope is is so much more slippery now, and there's really no coming back from that. 
Maybe Paul should just go head to head with Joe Rogan in a pro bout and call it a day. Now that would sell out a stadium for sure. I mean, you get to see Joe Rogan in action and not only that, but you also get to see Jake Paul hit the canvas and go back to Disney where he belongs. Two birds, one stone. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned and we will catch you in the next video.